I do. Your beauty overwhelms me. <gasps> Charles, take me now. Yes, Charles, take her. And when you're done, take me. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what it feels like to be in someone's arms again. Please, Peg, you're killing me. <laughs> Kelly, are you sure this is okay? Because last time your dad swung me around the room by my earring. <laughs> That's just because you touched his remote control. Don't worry. <laughs> get enough of this at home from my mom's friends. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Rhodes. That was the third guy this week that I was truly in love with that you messed up for me. <laughs> Kelly, sit down. See, I have this, well, this problem. I mean, it's really very complicated. You're a child. I probably shouldn't even be discussing it with you. I doubt you'd even understand. Horny as a toad, huh? Bingo. <laughs> attractive in a cheap, tawdry sort of way? <laughs> what do I have to do to attract a man? Well, the magazines say to try a new look. You know, a new hairdo, new lipstick, pry that jug out of your mouth. <laughs> well, and then there's this business with your wedding ring. I mean, a pretty woman can get away with it, but... <laughs> I think I understand. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so hard for me to take it off. It's like admitting to myself that my marriage is really over, which it obviously is, and has been since Wienerneck left in the night like a balding thief. <laughs> I should take it off, but I just can't. It's too sacred to me. Fine, then we'll just get you a cat pole. <laughs> <laughs> it's off. There, I've done it. Now I am truly free. Why did it take me so long to realize when a simpleton like you knew what I had to do? <laughs> I feel great. I feel renewed. I'm ready to fly. Oh, yep. From this point on, Marcy Rhodes soars like an eagle. Simpleton? I know that means something bad. <laughs> What's a simpleton? An idiot, a moron, dull, dullard, cretin. You know, someone a little smarter than you. Hey. Ah, look at Mrs. Rhodes. Isn't she cute? Peaceful as a baby. I want her so bad. <laughs> well, maybe I can help you out. But I'm gonna let you in on some secret woman stuff that no other man knows. Oh, man! Now, shh. If anybody knows that I told you this, the sisterhood would strip me of my PMS privileges. <laughs> now, you see, bud, when a woman sleeps, her hormones accumulate, which means that when she wakes up, she falls in love with the first man that she sees. Now, if she stands up and she hasn't seen anyone, her hormones will fall to her feet and they will go down the drain when she showers. Of course. I've noticed that when they're standing up, no girls like me. But we won't give Mrs. Rhodes the chance. Now, if I were you, I would sleep here tonight on the couch. That way, you're the first thing she sees and the only thing she wants. Yowza! <laughs> what should I wear? Your love clothes. You know, your cowboy jammies. 